breakfast. <laughs> the most important meal of the day. Three scrambled egg whites, two slices of I can't believe it's not buttered rye toast, and to flush it through me, a piping hot cup of freshly ground coffee. <laughs> Did you sleep on the couch last night? What's it to you? Oh, Charlie, what'd you do? Nothing. Nothing? I may have compared Brad's recently deceased wife to a ball-chasing dog. <laughs> Whose balls? Tennis balls. Get your mind out of the gutter. All right. While this is admittedly a bump in the road, you do have an opportunity here to really improve your relationship with Chelsea. How do you figure? Well, think about it. The reason you're threatened by Brad is because he's a much better man than you. <laughs> no, he's not. I would never come on to another guy's fiance. Uh, okay, first of all, we don't know that he's come on to Chelsea. And secondly, I've seen you hit on a bride while she was walking down the aisle. <laughs> it was a joke. I asked her what she was doing later. Everybody laughed. My point is, if Chelsea is looking around for a better guy, why not make that guy you? Because I'm not a better guy than me. <laughs> But you do have something going for you that Brad doesn't. What's that? Room to improve. <laughs> lots and lots of room to improve. Thanks. You filled me with optimism. And, and keep in mind, you're the underdog here. And everybody loves an underdog. Then talk of nobody loves you. <laughs> the principle is still sound. Just go up there and tell Chelsea you.